I'm going to show you the trace that the guys in Cape Receive use a lot for catching uh, brusher mussel cracker. Um, basically it's called Lyle's Seesaw Trace. What we require for it is a pear sinker of sorts. This is a 6 ounce. Some Kingfisher 25 kilo. That will be your sinker snooting or lighter. It's up to you. We use the mustard hook, the 4826A. It's the brown hook. Um, basically, this is an Ato. Uh, the guys that fish down there use Ali Crickle, um, crab, muscle man crab. This here is our sinker clip that we adapt uh, to make a little clip for casting purposes. Our power swivel, number three. And fluorocarbon, this is um, triple fish fluorocarbon, 38 kilo. Sometimes they go a little bit heavier, sometimes a little bit lighter, but fluorocarbon is a definite there for around the rocks. To start off with, the easiest is to take a sinker. Would you lose a lot of sinkers there? We just give it a little bit of a a lip or groove in it so when we tie our knot when it hits against the rocks and that it doesn't break off this trace is absolutely excellent in that you don't lose sinkers and that's why they use it a lot down there sinkers are expensive this trace basically saves your sinker almost every time okay let's move everything off okay all we're going to do is take a little piece of our kingfisher nylon we're going to tie a figure of eight so to tie a figure of eight, and it's basically one, two, three times around like that. Take the tag end, go through the loop, and what we do is we actually open it up to form the figure of eight, which is there. A little bit of lubrication, slide down, pull tight, and you'll see it actually sits inside that groove that I made. Now that basically protects it when it actually hits against rocks. It stops you from getting cut off. Cut that off as cleanly as we can. That's what we're doing there. Now we're going to take a little power swivel. Okay, and we're going to do exactly the same thing. We're going to try and make it as short as possible. So I'm going to do it like this. Three times around. Out, over. There's our figure of eight. Lubricate, slide up. And once we've pulled it tight, Take a mustard scissors and just cut off the tag end as closely as we can. So that's basically the length of the line that we use to our sinker. As you can see, it's very short. Very important to try and keep it as short as possible. Okay, hook snoot. That's our 4826A mustard hook. We're going to take a piece of fluorocarbon here, one more. Just slightly over a meter in length. Snip it off. Put it down there. Grab our fluorocarbon. Now all we're going to do is make a figure of eight. Once, twice, three times around. Through. Open it up. Okay. Lubricate, pull tight, slide the knot all the way down to the hook, pull as tight as we can now because it has to lock in place, it's fluorocarbon, it's a very hard line, mustard pliers and we just side cut this and just cut it off as cleanly as we can, so that's basically the first knot, we make this about 30 centimeters in length, we don't want it too long, we don't want it to move around too much, again another power swivel, And again, all we're doing is the figure of eight. One, two, three. Here's your figure of eight, basically made. Lubricate, slide down. Now the easiest way to pull that knot tight is to take your actual hook, hold it in your hands like that. 
and pull as hard as you can against it. There we go, that knot is pulled nice and tight. Cut it off, just trim it nice and neatly, the tag end. And there is basically our hook snoot. Okay. Next of all, we're just going to take again one of our little sinker clips. And we're just going to modify it ever so slightly to become a hook holder, hook keeper, hook clip, if you want to call it that. And all we do is we just twist it down like that. We just cut it off. Be careful that little piece doesn't shoot in your face. Throw that away. Bend it back so it's nice and straight in line. And we just take around those pliers just to open it up a bit. So if you can see there, I'm just going to try and stick it in. There we go. And we just ever so lightly open it. Open it. So that it's got a wider gape on it. To put it onto our swivel, all we do is that part of it. Again, we just take, you know, you just use this. Put it in and you just twist slightly. Just ever so slightly to open it. We then take our swivel, slip it inside like that. Take a pair of pliers. You can use a round nose quickly. And we just close it up. We've just added that to our swivel. Okay. Again, we're just going to take a bit of fluorocarbon. I've already cut it. It's over a meter in length. Okay, basically all I've done, made a figure of eight around my swivel. Pull tight, like that. Quick and easy. So basically there's our uh, swivel attached. We then grab another swivel. This swivel now slides up and down. So basically it'll be sliding up and down the actual line. Okay. Take our sinker that's got our clip on it. And we're attaching it to the bottom of the eye, if you can see that properly. That's where it's getting attached to. Okay. And again, all we're doing is a figure of eight. Pull the knot tight. A little bit more lubrication. Slide down until it's tight as can be. And just make sure everything's tight. We will just put it in there and just pull everything just to test it which we're very happy with I knew there was a reason I had two swivels here yeah? cut that one off attach my sink <laughs> to it <laughs> sorry <laughs> attach my hook snoot to the back end of it there we go so there goes the swivel the hook snoot Okay, there we go guys. Nice and tight. Okay. Now basically, how this works... is that the bait will hook onto there like that okay so you've got your bait on you've got a very long piece of leader line if you want to call it that when it hits the water what happens is that comes off your line will be sitting there your sinker will be over there you get the bite from the brusher the brush is going to run off in that direction. The sinker will come up to you over here. And this sinker is now lifted off of the rocks while you're actually fighting the fish. So this will be on the ground somewhere. You get the bite. Obviously the fish runs off in that direction. Picks your sinker up. So now your sinker is off the bottom. Simple as that. So now your sinker is off the bottom. Can't get stuck in the rocks. And you can tussle your brusher anywhere you want. There's Lyle's seesaw trace guys. It's as simple as that.